Hey guys, and welcome back to today's episode. I have had a very busy holiday. We've had lots of family over for Christmas. And part of that has been that I've totally neglected working on this old Rolls Royce project, which is behind me right there. Um, I am going to get back at it today and do a little bit of work. I have been busy, though, spending money and ordering parts, uh, like new bumpers, new bumper brackets. I got a carpet coming, new convertible top arrived the other day. Lots of stuff has been showing up. So it's not that uh, I haven't been preparing. I just haven't done any physical work on the car. But that needs to change. I'm hoping today to get a little bit of work done on the dashboard, hopefully get that nasty old dash off the car and um, start cleaning up some of the interior bits and get them ready for dye to match the seats um, that are getting redone right now. So follow along on this episode as I tear this car apart a little bit more and uh, I'll also do, maybe do a little bit of history on the car and previous owners and talk about um, you know <laughs> what I've learned about the car since uh, since I bought it. So follow along as you watch a fool spend money on a money pit and hopefully make it into something somewhat better. One thing that I got off the internet and it's brand new was a new convertible top for the car. The one that was on here is, as you can see, missing. Um, it was removed. Animals so very kindly removed it. Um, and yeah, they, uh, they ate it or ripped it off and then people ended up tearing it and removing whatever was left. So there's not a whole lot left of that convertible top. Um, I also had to get new convertible top bows. So this wood that goes around the outside here, um, that screws in and holds the top to the body, from my understanding. And that was, uh, that's getting kind of warped and delaminating. I got that as well. Um, so we're gonna leave that in the box. Uh, these came, there's a company called Flying Spares out of the UK and they pretty much have everything you'd need for Rolls Royce used parts and so forth. These are bumper brackets. Um, I have some of the brackets on the car, as you can kind of see on the, the back there. There's a bumper bracket hanging off, but I'm missing some off other portions. So I bought a, a set of new front and new rear bumper brackets, just so I have everything that I need, um, including new bumpers, which haven't arrived yet as of the filming of this part of the video. Maybe the next day or two they will. Uh, this is about as far as I got last time. Uh, I ripped all the old carpeting out, which was really gross. Uh, I have to remove that back panel there, which I believe was carpeting at one time, and there's really not much left of it now. Um, the side panels here are the armrests in the back are in pretty good shape, but they're filthy dirty, and they need to be cleaned, prepped, and then uh, I can actually dye that leather to match the uh, slightly darker shade that I've chosen of gray for the interior. Uh, but this is the big task today. This is the big mission, is to try and do something with this disgusting dash panel. Um, I've got to figure out how to remove all these lower dash pieces, the upper dash pieces, and just really get that all down to a clean slate. Once the dashboard is done in this car and all looking great and everything, um, the interior will go pretty quick. Once carpeting goes in and new seats go in, that's the majority of your interior door panels go on. This thing will start to come together. But right now I've got this nasty, gross dashboard still in this car and it bugs me every time I look at it. So I'm going to start the disassembly process right now. I'm also going to be wearing gloves today because frankly, this car is still pretty nasty. Um, I've got a lot more cleaning to do before I'll feel comfortable in it. Um, it had a lot of rodents and raccoons. The two R's like Rolls Royce, rodents and raccoons. Not what that stands for, uh, but this one did. Uh, so I'm gonna start tearing into that. I got the gloves on. I'm gonna start ripping apart this dash. One thing I learned taking the dashboard apart on the parts car was that the top dash pad panel is held in with screws, which are located in various spots along the fascia of the dash, but you have to take the wood off first. Now I have this section removed. I've got to take that panel off and then it'll reveal the screws which will loosen the top part of the dash. And then after that, there are several screws which are going to be running down the bottom here. Uh, I can't really see them, they're not visible right now, but there will be screws holding the sides on. Once those are off, that crusty dash panel will come off. This part of the dash right there, the screw in there. And just to be held on those two screws. Possibly one more at the end. Let's see if I can loosen that off. Oh, that just takes this off. There goes the glove box. 
which is fine because I've got a better one. And we've got these lower panels here, which were held in screws from behind the radio. Just pulled off. I have to figure out how to get that all loose. Every single bit of this upholstery pretty much needs to come off because it's, as you can see, really bad. I did get the, uh, the wood off, which will give me access to the dash. To, that's what I need to do, take those screws off right there, the ones that come down the little brackets. Um, somebody's done that one for me. That might have been held in with one of the wood dash screws, but the other ones have to take those out and then this dash pad will start to release. Trust me, once that upholstery's all off of there, this interior will start to look like 100% better. Okay, got the screws unbolted off the top. There was one on the side. Now this will start to lift out. Hey, the dash pad is off. The wood is off. I have to disconnect this glove box door, but that shouldn't be too tough. Some of the lower panels are off. Getting it down to kind of the basics. Some of the pieces were salvageable. Some most definitely were not. Luckily, I was able to take a lot of parts off my parts car, which can basically just bolt right back on. Oh, I'm gonna get to work getting this all cleaned up, get the rest of these gross panels off, and uh, I'm gonna wash this dashboard down, and maybe I can start reinstalling some of the nice wood. Before I get ready to start to install the new dashboard, I've got to do a little bit of repair to the replacement. Now this one is in good shape, thankfully, but there's a few spots where the leather was kind of lifting off of the backboard. I'm using some Gorilla Glue, which is super strong and should do the trick and some clamps. I'm going to let that set up and dry and then I'll go do the other side because I want this to be a nice snug fit. Once it's all in there, I want to make it look good. The other thing I have to do is come over here with a shop vac and vacuum out all the back of the dashboard because it is pretty nasty and dusty and gross back there. Um, the other thing I noticed is that my old dash had a center speaker. Well, still does. Um, the new dashboard does not, but you can see that they had sort of a pre-cut hole for the speaker that uh, at the factory, if this model wasn't equipped with that, they just filled it and upholstered it over. So I'm gonna have to make a decision of whether I should cut that hole back out and reinstall the speaker grill, um, or maybe just reroute that speaker that's in the dash. Either way, I will come up with a solution for it. Um, but for now, there's some gluing and some vacuuming that has to happen. Next thing I'm gonna do is give the dashboard a good cleaning before the repaired wood that I did the other day goes back on. Uh, I'm using Spray 9. This isn't a paid sponsorship, but Spray 9 is also a disinfectant. Uh, so it's gonna clean this mouse debris up and hopefully get rid of any sort of residue that's on there. I'm gonna get this whole section cleaned up here and then wipe it down. And I don't wanna get it too wet. There's no need for that, but nice thing about this stuff is that it does a good job getting rid of germs and also grease. So let's see. Yeah, it's coming up much cleaner. I'm going to work on this, get this all cleaned up, and then I'll be able to get the wood back on. Dashboard is wiped down and is clean. The steering wheel here, you can see, has a lot of uh, wear to it. Structurally, it's fine, but it doesn't look that great. The parts car does have a good steering wheel, which I will take off, so I'm not gonna focus too much on that right now. Um, there is a little piece of wood over there, which goes along the dashboard. I'm gonna refinish that so that it matches the rest of the dash. Um, and then after the glue is done drying, which will be a little while on this guy, and I have to clamp the other, I will mount that dashboard in, and, uh, and then I can start getting the, the wood back on. And I have decided to see if I can remove this plug that was put in here at the factory and um, get back to a speaker hole. So I'm going to gently try and do this so that I don't disturb the leather on the other side so I can cut sort of a star shape and then 
pull that over so I can somewhat upholster it properly. If I can remove this plug and clean it up, that'll give me enough of a exit for my speaker so that I can get some sound back out of the dashboard again. Well, it doesn't look like much right now, but that thing popped out pretty much just like a cork. Uh, this is the speaker grill. I saved it with its little nuts from the other dash. Uh, I'm going to use it to line up where it goes and I have to drill the holes for these little pegs to go through and then I can uh, kind of mount it and get it set up on the other side. Okay, I have pre-drilled some holes going through the uh, fiberglass sort of resin dash pad here. Um, I didn't go all the way through the vinyl on the other side, the leather on the other side, because I want to make sure I've got it in just the right spot before I do that. Plus, I'm going to take this and clean it and give it uh, some fresh paint so it looks a lot better before I install it. Okay, this is the view of the top side. I've got my holes pre-drilled, and this is cut so that when you pull through, it'll create a nice opening, and you can actually glue that down so you will fold it over versus having just a big ragged hole that'll probably spread. Uh, it doesn't look like much right now. I've also got the speaker grill back. Um, I'm going to put a little coat of paint on there after it dries, but we're going to do a dry run and install it and just make sure everything fits like so. Okay, I've given the grill just a little sparkling, uh, a little misting of black paint. It's going to dry a semi-gloss. We're going to let that settle down and then we'll install it on the dashboard. I think what I might do is actually very carefully move this a little bit closer to my heater because it is cold outside. If I want this thing to eventually dry, it's going to be a little closer to a heat source. I want to let that settle and I'm going to go inside while I wait for paint to dry. While I wait for the glue to dry, I'm going to work on de-sliming some of the interior in here. Look how gross that is. This car has not been cleaned in over a decade. There's been a family of raccoons living in here. So any kind of cleaning is going to be an improvement. Get some of this gross muck off of the seats. Because I can't do anything with this with it being so dirty. Right now it's just smearing them. I have to get a new cloth. That's really gross. Okay, I've given the back door panels just sort of a cursory wipe down. Definitely better than what it was, but I'm not done there. And I did move over to the dashboard again and got the uh, yucky, really gross um, side panels, these ones here off. And the key to getting this thing off was to take the uh, wooden dash plate off the radio, which revealed the screws, so I could remove it. I'm gonna get these into my upholster and see if she can de-wrap them for me. Yuck! Um, so I've got those two. Those gotta go, this has to go. A little pile of stuff to go to the upholstery shop. Uh, but the dash is already looking better in its dismantled form than it did with all that gross upholstery all over it. Okay, let's see how the speaker grill is doing. It is dry. Oh, pick that up, that looks better already. Try and reattach that to the dashboard. Okay, so there we have it. Speaker grill cover is on. So now my radio can have cool tunes pouring out of that dashboard. I'll give this dash a really good cleaning and uh, gloss it up a little bit once it's all in place. But for now, at least that's one thing that's done. Um, I moved this a little closer to the heater so the glue can dry. It is, well, if you can see outside or not, winter. And this is uh, technically an unheated garage. It's insulated, but all I've got is that little heat dish heating up in here. So it's probably about five degrees Celsius. Not ideal temperature to be doing gluing. That's why I moved it close to the heat. Okay, this has been drying for a while now. So long, in fact, that it's now dark outside. I'm gonna take the clamps off and see if this dash lines up and how it looks in the car. Like that. We'll go on, something like that. I'm gonna get it snugged in and in spot in place, but already that looks so much better to have a dashboard that's not all eaten away and clawed at. It's gonna be so much better once that's all in place. I'm gonna work on getting that exactly in the right spot and then fasten it in. 
I think that's got it. Make sure all the holes line up, which they do. I'm gonna get the screws mounted in, and that will be snug as a bug in a rug, or snug as a dash on rolls in this case. But either way, it's gonna be in there and it's gonna look much better than it did before. Okay, I have the dashboard nice and secure. I'm just getting some of the wood trim put back on and put the glove, back, glove box back on. Words are failing me. I can put the glove box back on and the fascia wood on the front of the dash. And then I'm gonna call it a night because that was a lot of work for one day. I redid this wood a while back. I've been keeping it safe in the trunk until the time came when I needed it. And today is that day. Now I'm going to figure out how all this goes back on here. Let's see if I can't make a Rolls Royce dashboard look good again. And I think that is about that. Let's back up and see how that's starting to look. Almost like a dash. I can't really put the glove box on fully yet until I get this dash pad put on the bottom because it holds the other pin, but kind of get the general idea that it's looking way better than it did before. Oh man, that looks so nice compared to what it did just even this morning. That's probably about all I'm gonna do for today as I climb my way through the car <laughs> and uh, get to the other side of my garage. Um, next week, I'll see if I can get the upholstery into the shop. Um, I'll try and finish up some of the work on the lower part of the dashboard. But um, really, so far, it's taken shape and that's the first I'd say proper renovation, you might say, that I've done on this car, where I went from having a really gross dashboard to now having one that looks pretty darn good. So thanks for following along this week, guys. Don't forget to subscribe for more episodes and uh, yeah, just generally tune in because there's all kinds of stuff going on in this channel. But yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and take care and we'll see you all soon. Bye for now.